this is always back with another video on the channel today i'm going to be showing you how you can serve your portfolio using github pages now i'm serving this my portfolio website from a github account so here is my github account and here's a repository that i have for this portfolio website now i want to give you a quick overview why i decided to go with serving my portfolio website which is a static website it's not going to serve any dynamic pages and serving your static website from github is free and it's easier than having a hosting now if you're in the market of buying a hosting that would probably cost you about 45 dollars and that hosting will not serve your website really fast so when you serve your website which is a static website from github pages it's going to be really really fast if i refresh the page as you can see it just reloads uh, in about a few milliseconds i would say now i'm going to be showing you how you can serve your website using a github repository in this video also a few points that i want to make here is that instead of buying a five or six dollar hosting you might want to consider buying this pro github account it, they're not sponsoring me it's just me saying because i really like the pro features especially when i have like more than one person working with me on the project i can have an unlimited contributor on any repository i can have a unlimited private repositories and there are a lot of other options that are available in a pro account so if i go to my profile you can see i am a github pro account now here is the repository of my portfolio website i'm gonna click on that it's like a public repository because it's just a static website and i'm serving that you know just out of my repository so i don't really have to worry about anything it's a static website now the way you serve this website using github pro account is you need to create a repository once you create a repository create your index.html file and if you want to have other files like css or any kind of files you can basically you know have that in that repository all it's gonna care about is this index.html file because i'm serving the static website so once i've got the repository i've got the website going on locally with my repository I'm going to go to settings of that repository and within settings if I go all the way down here we have a uh, section for github pages it says github pages is designed to host your personal organization or project pages project pages is basically if you are creating a open source javascript or any programming language repository then you can actually create a website out of the repository which will serve the documentation for that particular library so it's free it's really really good now i have a github pro account this is why i'm able to serve one website which i use a custom domain so here i've got this custom domain set up osjamil.com which is my full name i've got this enforce https which means my website will be served from you know secure server now the way you do it is by just creating a github pages enable that and you're gonna have to choose you will click on the menu here and you will choose to serve from a master branch once you do that then open your repository i'm just gonna open a pycharm and i'm just gonna bring up the repository to show you one file that is required when you serve your personal portfolio website from your github pro account that file is called cname so let me show you that i'm gonna close this helper and then click on the cname file and here it's just says always jamil.com that's about it that's it and you don't really have to do anything else all you do is just create a cname file and say jamil.com so once you do that then in your repository github will take care of other things 
Now, also, once you enabled GitHub Pages for your custom domain, uh, you need to basically uh, change your name server. So I'm going to take you to my GoDaddy account where I buy the domain names from. So let's just go to registered users. I'll sign in. And here I've got this Oasis Jamil. Okay, I'm going to click on DNS, which will show me the DNS records. And here I'm serving from a GitHub. So here we got the C name set up as uh, oasis.github.io. And also these are the the AP, uh, IP values that I had to uh, you know mention here. Okay, now this will automatically link to my GitHub repository, and anybody will go to westmail.com will basically be sent to this IP address, which basically uh, a GitHub, uh, which is where my website is getting served from. Okay, now. Uh, it's very easy if you're a developer. I would highly recommend instead of buying that, you know, expensive hosting, just buy a GitHub Pro account. You get a lot of benefits with that. You can create unlimited repository, unlimited contributors, and there's a lot of other options as well. Check out the GitHub Pro account. Okay, that was a quick video that I wanted to show you. Not many people know about it. So, yeah, here you go. You can serve your static website uh, using GitHub. And you can also serve your static website uh, for free if you have a repository as open source. Okay, uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.